Hello everybody. Huh. <sighs> we picking up? Yeah, it looks like we are. Awesome. How's everybody going today? This is more viewers than I expected to have at ten minutes too. Hold on, adjusting my headphones. Ooh, there we go. <sighs> All right, so I suppose we can probably start a little earlier since we've got four people in already. All right, how about we just get straight into more dragons. Hello, Silphore, I see you again. All right, dragons. So, whilst we left off, We'd figured out the progenitors of the chromatic, metallic, and crystal. Crystal? Chris. Crystal. Dragons. Crystallic? Is that. Is that a thing? I'll just go crystal for now. Someone, some, someone correct me if need be. But anyway. Uh, then we figured out the original dragons from that. Hmm. Original dragons from that. Also did a little bit of stuff regarding how the original dragons came about. Figured out a conflict between dragons and chimeras. Probably should figure out who this powerful magical being is at some point. It could be a god. Could be a god. Figure that out later though. Crystalline? Yes. Thank you, Silver, Silver Array, that, yeah, crystalline works. All right, so next thing we need to do is figure out, because it's a little nice to have the history and everything, but this is for a D&D &D game. And as such, the plan is eventually that someone will play in this. And if that's the case, we need to have the dragons that are around at the time of playing, or the dragons that are relevant at the time of playing. Because I imagine, similar to Tiamat, uh, Tiroka is probably around somewhere, but not, or maybe even not around somewhere, but will, could be relevant to the game. But, once again, yeah, she may not be around anywhere, but could be relevant. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't we all, Space Jam? Yes, you could play in it. I'll have to do some world building outside of what you see, so you don't have spoilers for everything. Or maybe I'll just do all the world building here and adventure building outside. But anywho, let's make a new page for... I'll say current dragons for now. I don't like that term. I think I'm going to change it later, but it works for now. So. I don't think I like that term. I'll figure out another way to say it later. But anywho, the important dragons as of the play game, as of the play date. The current date within game. That's the way. So there's a couple that I did want to be important. One was Yix, because Yix is a cool name, and if the players do not interact with that name, I will be sorely disappointed. Uh, Turuka. Turuka is the team adequate one, so easy enough to make. Basically, just take hold of the Dragon Queen and make it about Turuka instead. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But I do feel like Taroka will play basically the same role as Tiamat, in some senses of the word. What other ones should we have? There'll probably be at least one of each. Some of them will lead things. Ah, alright, I did have one idea. I wanted a contemporary. Thank you, Silver Array. 
That is exactly contemporary. That's not how you spell it. Contemporary dragons. Perfect. Thank you. Yix, Turoko. I wanted. All right. So I had. I was watching. Um. If anyone knows, Escape from Divinity. The so far there's two. They're animatics to the song. Church by Fall Out Boy, and Heaven. I can't remember the band, but I really like the characters and stuff, and the idea of a Colosseum type setting. Everyone, mo most people like Colosseums in D and D, seeing them in some way, shape, or form, and I feel like. There should be a metallic dragon related to that. S yes, because I feel like using it as a justice system, like, as opposed to regular executions, they get sent to be gladiators, and so forth, or they serve out their sentence in the arena. So I feel like should use a metallic dragon for that. Gold, I think, may be good for that. To represent the obvious money that would come with the sport. The sport of gladiatorial combat. So I feel like we should have a gold dragon. I don't think it'll be the original gold dragon, because that... I think I think having one of the original dragons is more than enough because the fact that they survive this long is incredible as itself. So I think we'll have a different gold dragon running maybe not even running, maybe they started a uh Colosseum. God, how do you spell Colosseum? That's how you spell Colosseum. That's fair. Colosseum... Colosseum Cult. Colosseum Cult. That works. So we've got... A big metallic dragon. A big crystalline dragon. I think... I think we'll have one big crystalline dragon, because, it, like, like was previously mentioned, most of them were hunted down. Chromatic dragons? It's probably a couple roaming the wild, so I think that the biggest of them will have a white dragon ru basically ruling the uh, basically ruling the not necessarily the place up north. Actually, I don't think there's anywhere cold on the map. Actually, no, it'd be up in a mountain. Yeah, up in some mountain on the map there is a white dragon and around that territory they basically rule over the area so ruling well the coldest place in area did i do it with one l or two hold on Tellera. Hameria Tellera. I know my own world, what are you talking about? Alright, so we've got a white dragon. I reckon we'll have maybe three or four more. So maybe... I think maybe there's a... I think there's a red dragon somewhere. I think they roam the entire continent. Hmm, maybe not the whole continent. Yeah, anywhere around a white dragon is called if it wasn't already, you're right, silver, right? 
White Dragons are the smartest opposed to Bestial. Nice to see you back, Rajah. But no, they're not. Ruling is probably the wrong word. Uh, I don't mean ruling as in, like, ruling a city. I mean, like, that's their territory. They own that place and kill things around it. And so forth. There will be a metallic dragon that does rule a city, though. I think that might be in Hamaria. Yes, control. Yeah, that's right. Controls. Let's call this place in Talera. Red dragons roam. I don't think they roam the whole continent. No, there's... Ah. A weird spot. So there's a red dragon in a weird spot. <laughs> Sounds like the start of a joke. Ah, uh, yes, there's a red dragon in a weird spot, which we will... A weird bit. Keep our labels consistent. Have you done the map? Yes, I have done the map. That was done... So two or three, I think? No, so I'm not... I could probably find a way to have it in, like, a corner somewhere on the stream. I might do that next stream. We'll see. But anywho, the red dragon in a weird bit which we will figure out at another point. But we can figure out the dragon today. I think... Yeah, we've got three chromatic... We've got a crystal and maybe... two or three more of these bad boys. We'll have... <laughs> sure thing, I'll, I'll share the map with you all. Uh, anywho. Alright, so we need... I reckon the other two... I reckon the other two big metallic dragons... Own cities. They rule cities. And there's gonna be two of those. So, for that, I'm thinking maybe... Brass? And silver? I think silver, definitely. Oh. Damn, you able to... Able to get everything through... Let me, let me know when you get everything back through, Silver Array. I don't think it's anything on this side. Apparently stream quality is good at the moment. Brass Coastal? I honestly... I honestly don't know in the regular 5th edition rules, but I might make it not that. Why are we not seeing chat on screen? Hmm. Hmm, for some reason we're not seeing chat on screen. At least I can't from here. But anywho, definitely have a silver. Silver dragon rules the city. I think I think I might go brass. But yes, no. Uh, oh damn. Do any of the OG dragons still exist, Rogel? Uh, yes, they do. We have Yix and Tiruka somewhere. They're probably hidden. And, damn, really? I wonder why that is. No idea. Must be a cursed stream. No, I did. I hope it's not a cursed stream. Ah, oh, there we go. There's chat. Much better. Anywho. Yes, OG dragons, we've got Yix and Taroka. I think most of the other OG dragons are gone. If they are still there, they're not there in the same way. Like, Yix survived barely. Yes, Colosseum Cult. Owned by a gold dragon. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think maybe, I think, I think Brass. Brass is probably what we're gonna go with. Alright. 
Alright, so these are the contemporaries. Yik still exists from way back when. Tiroka also still exists from way back when, but is probably sealed away. Or something like that. Gold Dragon Colosseum Cult. The Gold Dragon probably doesn't run the cult anymore. Maybe they live under it in their massive horde. And every now and again they drop <laughs> drop coin down a well for to go on top of the gold dragon's horde. That could be a very interesting late 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 game encounter. Yeah, alright. Let's work on each of these. So that's just the list. And now Yix. Let's make it bold. This is a title. <laughs> Twelve. Where? Colosseum Horde. Yep. Let's actually, let's make that slightly smaller. One point five. Yix. Where? Ah. Uh, what else? Age. Type, where, age, personality. So this will get into like the nitty gritty of uh, the speaking. Sorry, I'm very tired right now. Uh, the nitty gritty of the actual NPCs. So type, where, age, personality, alignment. Yep. Useful reference. I mean, alignment is good to just get that knowledge, get that, just know that they are whatever it is. Uh, personality is more the individual. And I think, I think that should be good. So, Yix is... Crystalline, they are an emerald dragon. Where? Figure that out in a bit. Age. I did not decide on a date. General? General information? Yeah, right. Good idea. Just in case there's anything else that needs to go in there. Uh, I didn't figure out when dragons were born. I'm just going to say unknown because it was such a long time ago that Yix probably doesn't even remember because there's been so many different calendars and uh, types of uh, ways of measuring time that they're like the years that I was born are a different length than the years that we measure now. They probably know their own from within themselves, but they don't know in something translatable to people. Where? All right. Actually, let's get let's get the map up to Lara. Move it over so that you can all see as well. Ah, hold on. Make this the right size. There we go. There we go. Alright, so in Tilera. One of these is where the red dragon is. Well, let's get the right. Let's get on a new layer so we can mark stuff down. So one of these red ones is where the red dragon is. The white dragon will be like up there. Because looking at this map, I reckon here is probably the tallest mountain. But.
I get the feeling that maybe Yix is hidden on one of the islands. Desert area or mountain? Ah, uh, for the red dragon. Red dragon's up in the mountain. I think that's what- yeah, I'm gonna go with that. But for now, for Yix... Yix, I think, is gonna go on the island to the right. Uh, it doesn't have any weird bits. It's just a pretty plain island. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Alright. Roger, I'll see you if it comes back. Anywho. Ah, uh, to the east. Easternmost island. Deep within a hidden cave system. Hiding from everyone. Personality. Yix. Yix is probably fairly strange. Let's put that down. Strange. They haven't interacted with... And interacted with anyone in probably a couple hundred years? Around 450 years. Years. They. Hmm. pronouns just so that we can know how to refer to them. Strange, they haven't interacted with anyone in 450 years. They speak in riddles? No. Something odd. They are constantly wary and mistrustful of people. Due to the Poachers from many years ago. Ooh. Is Yix blind? I think Yix has lost their sight. Yeah, Yix is blind. Alignment. I think the X is probably true neutral. Maybe. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're true neutral. Completely. Constantly wary and, dis wary and distrustful of people due to poachers. What? What else? What? I need to make them more distinct. As a collection... Has a horde of... A horde of something odd. Something valuable to them but not, not valuable to anyone else. Could just be rocks. They live in a cave and have a horde of rocks. <sighs> Get back to that. I'm a general blind. Can't fly. Actually, I think Yix sheds their own light. Mm. 
Yeah. I reckon that'd be cool. <clears throat> Wood burns? Why is that bold? They do have to go out and hunt. They probably hunt in the Underdark. Actually, they probably live on the border of the Underdark. Hold on. Because I... From my understanding, and what I like to interpret the Underdark is... As... Is... It's just... Really, really deep underground. So deep that... You bas basically travel to the... A different plane. Which does set a precedent for other types of planar travel. Anywho. Deep within a hidden cave system on the border of the Underdark. Horde of Bones? I think a Horde of Bones. From creatures, they have slain, slain, eaten from the Underdark. That is not their personality. There we go. Could they, due to their exposure to the Underdark, and the lack of food, could they pose a threat to the party in that sense? Could they be neutral evil? I think they could. No, they're just neutral. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to make Yix evil. Yix being evil isn't 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 won't be wouldn't be fun. Their mind and body been slowly deteriorating, and they are approaching. Slowly deteriorating. Full stop. That should be good. Age unknown. Approaching the end of their life. It could be a cool idea for an adventure to have the players have to escort Yix to the Shrine of Kaziol so that they can die and pass on. Because that would be cool. Because Yix is old. Don't know why Yix has lasted this long, but they have. But I think that should be fine for now. For Yix. Next up. Tiroka. Type. Chromatic. Just full stop. Lady Dragon. Where? Shall I figure out. Age. Unknown. Do, do, do. Get out of there. You know what? I'm just gonna control C. Make a quick template for everyone. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Tiroko. Figure out the rest in a bit. Where is Tiroko? Sealed. 
Maybe a demiplane. I think she's still sealed in a demiplane. around each of our five heads. Personality. She cares. Cares a lot about her children. But doesn't really care much or anyone or anything else. She's hmm. Yeah, she was probably sealed away by people that her kids were or that her descendants were harassing. And as such uh, she went, maybe when one of them was slain, uh, she stepped in and was like, Hey, uh, I know my kids are stealing, stealing stuff from you and slaughtering you, but, uh, uh, they're my kids and they can do what they want. And then they were like, no, that's not cool. And then she tried to step in and they were like, okay, we ca definitely can't deal with, uh, the progenitor of all chromatic dragons, so they had to seal her away. Yeah. They're my kids, so fuck off, basically. And they're like, no, they're killing us. <laughs> what do you mean, fuck off? Uh, alignment. I th that. Those actions are evil. Lawful evil. No, she's chaotic. Chaotic evil? Yeah, no. That, I, I, that'd still be ways to define that as chaotic. But yeah, no, she can't really do anything at the moment. Also, it's nice to see out here Apple Martini 69. She's dismissive of the plights of mortals and will likely eat them before conversing unless they have to talk to her about her family. Yeah, so she's probably like the prob prob probably almost like a, a lot of sci-fi aliens in this sense. Yeah. Hmm. General. Don't think there's any general information that we need for Taroko right now. We'll figure that out in a bit. The gold dragon with the Colosseum cult. Let's just quickly put in here. Lawful evil. Because they're definitely evil. Definitely. Now their name. An evil gold dragon. How would we... embody <laughs> how would we embody evil of I reckon there's a G in that evil and corrupt rulership type thing 
Do you reckon there's a G in there? Gekralos. No, like that. Gekralos. Type. Gold. Pronouns. He, him. That is not a slash. There we go. Where? Underneath. The... Underneath the Colosseum, in where shall we put this Colosseum? One of the major cities. Where are the dots? Hmm, just a sec, I'm gonna get rid of these dots real quick. It's only one. No, there's more. I think that's it. Anywho, back to the task at hand. I reckon this Colosseum is at this place in between the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath the Colosseum and the center of Terra between the mountains. Yes. Age? Hmm. Probably a couple hundred years old? No. Probably nearing a thousand. 873. Out of bold. 873. Personality. Wants gold. Greedy. Want some more gold? More offerings. They set up the Colosseum. As a... Wait, want some more gold? more offerings, and more death. As a way of using those sentenced to death, as both entertainment and gold generating and as both entertainment and for profit. Betting. All right, we'll figure out more of the uh, specific, oh wait, sorry, get back to the notes. We'll figure out more of the specifics of the Colosseum itself in a bit, but they want gold and offerings, and death, and then all of that entertainment. They probably a bit of a sadist, a bit. They enjoy seeing people, they enjoy watching Bloodsport, and enabled it. They're definitely at least, they're definitely a sadist. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up, White Dragon. Kurek. Kinky? Not kinky. Evil. Difference between the type those two types of sadism. <sighs> Maybe if they weren't evil, it would be kinky. Not this time. I'll do that for a different dragon. Anywho, Tiroka is white dragon, wire, white, 
Uh, how bestial should this dragon be? Probably use. Hmm. They it. Yeah. Where? Tallest mountains in Talera. So they're actually fairly close. Well, aside from the fact that one's all the way at the top of the mountain. Age. Fairly young, I reckon. Maybe younger than some elves. Hmm, not quite. 731. Bold. 731. Personality. A hunter. Joys. Roaming around and playing with its food. <sighs> they enjoy the thrill of battle. No, the thrill of the hunt. And battle. Yeah, they they like they like fighting as well. There's just not much around to fight that puts up a good fight. Alignment. Chaotic. Neutral. They hunt to survive. They enjoy. They they do play with it. They do play with what they hunt. And it's probably pretty brutal. But I don't think they're evil. I don't think they're evil. They can be conversed with, I think. They've got a very narrow mindset. I think anything in the area of roaming is theirs to do with what they want. Because they think that they've got the power to do that. Well, they do have the power to do that, and as such, they do it. They don't subjugate anything. They just... Hunt. Fight back if need be. General? I don't think we'll need anything for that yet. Red dragon in a weird bit. Ah, all right. This dragon is in a weird bit. This weird bit. I worry that I'm making all these too close. I might, I might do the weird bit that's on the westernmost island. Where? Western island. Weird bit. This weird bit, which we can organize in another another video. I think they're a guardian. Actually, it's probably just their horde. But their horde is weird. Type red. Pronouns. Age. Fairly new, I reckon. Newer than the others. 6.30. No. 6.27. No. There's the delete button. Personality. Fiery. 
fiery, and protective. They Western Iron weird bit ruins. They have laid claim to the ruins of an old city. Magic city? Magic city. Where the <laughs> let's we'll go in general, not in personality. Where the remnants of the magic have altered them significantly. Significantly? Significantly. I am very tired. He looks. He's far more muscular than most regular dragons. And. And um, among. Their treasure is a large clutch of eggs. I reckon these eggs are weird because of the magic. The, these eggs don't hatch. These eggs don't hatch naturally, but instead, when, hold on, I just realized we don't have a name for this red dragon. Zeki, Zeki, that works, but instead, when Zeki is killed, they regenerate within one of the eggs. So it's like a lich's phylactery. They just haven't gotten around to doing much with it. I won't say a large clutch of eggs. They've got like three or four. So, if the players ever want to fight Zeki, they need to kill, destroy the eggs first, otherwise, Zeki's just gonna come back. This will be like 20th level stuff. Alignment? Chaotic. They took up an abandoned city. They haven't done anything to anyone. Actually, wait, I think Kurek might be evil. And Zeki can be neutral. Yeah, that works. Fire and protective. Zeki is a territorial stalwart being. Her senses within the city are enhanced and have little and little goes by within this area that they don't know about. Yeah, that works. 
Yeah, all right, I like that. Go with that. Hmm. All right, Silver Dragon rules the city. I reckon this is the nice ruler. This person is. This is a, this. This can be a lawful good person. This person can be a lawful neutral. I just realized. Maybe we should make Zeki good? No, I'm just going back on it too much now. Might change it later. Anywho, type silver. Silk. Selkiat. 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 That works. She there. Where? Where? This is going to be in this little cove area. I reckon she owns the one that's between the that's along the big inlet like this well the little inlet rules the city along the little inlet of on the little inlet in the center the continent. Continent? Ah, uh, it's probably just a big island. I don't really know. Scale very well. Age. Not too old. Probably in the what? 473? There's some elves that are older than them. Cares deeply for their subjects and wishes for their prosperity. She holds She tries to keep the. She tries to keep the mortal leaders in check as well as she can. Mm. General. Missing a wing from a battle with their brother, who we will establish next. Missing a wing from a battle with their brother a century ago. <sighs> yes. And then, brother, Brass Dragon. Uh, their name. They can make O sounds. All cat. All cat works. Type brass pronouns. He the where. 
I just realized I wasn't in my OneNote for that. Anywho. Anywho. The other side of the bay? Yeah, I think he's on the other side of the bay. The... The eastern side of the bay. The center of the continent. Age. I reckon he's a tad older. He's probably ruling before Selkyard. He's maybe 498 at the time of play. Personality. Lovely. Sorry, I just wanted to make Yix good. I felt like there wasn't enough good dragons. Yeah, I definitely felt like we needed more good dragons. There might be others, but these are the bigger ones. Oh, they're probably bigger because they have done bad things and are more likely to be bad guys. Anywho. He rules... Over. Why do we keep getting messages? He rules over. City. With an iron fist. He once ruled the entire Bay Area. When their sister. So. Kiat. in each of these. Selkie art. Led a revolution against him. Probably about only 50 years ago. His forces were weakened. He eventually lost both of the major cities within the bay. Yeah. Yeah. General? I think he's fine. That's, that, that's enough for that. Prides herself, back to self -Kiot. prides herself on leading the mortals out of their subjugation. Thank you, Mama Vamp. I think, I think we might, well, I think we might be done actually, no matter, so it doesn't, so, I think we might, that might be good for now, just a basic overview of each of these characters. Yeah, alright. Next, next stream, next stream, next stream. Could go... A bit more in depth regarding so I think we might be done with dragons for now Th I think we're done with dragons most of those specific things that people want out of the dragons I think we're done with dragons we could do the cowboy dragon hunters though We might do the Cowboy Dragon Hunters if people really want more dragon. More dragon content. Other than that, next time I think we might do... Unless people specifically want Cowboy Dragon Hunters, I think we'll be doing the species. 
how the elves, humans, dwarves, etc. came into being. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for this one. And on another note, I've been streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays for a bit. And I still plan to. I'm still doing Tuesdays 5 onwards, 5 till 6. Uh, Thursdays 4 till 5. But I was also thinking, I've got a better laptop now. I can't tell it by the camera, but the laptop itself is better. And I was thinking I might start streaming some games just casually every now and again. Uh, up on my Twitter, get to the headshot, up on my Twitter, I've got a poll asking what games people might want to see, uh, Dishonored, Hollow Knight, Hades, or what other one was it, looking at the stuff, I think Darkest Dungeon was the other one that I had on there. So, if anyone has any preference regarding those, uh, feel free to put it in chat or vote in the poll. Uh, other than that, I think that might be where we'll leave it today. Thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you all next time, next Thursday. This episode should be up on YouTube fairly soon. Catch you later.